So uh, today we're continuing with our November 2020 paper. And uh, just as always, if you have any questions, please text me those questions uh, to my number on the screen, okay? And then I'll be able to uh, attend to them in a special video uh, during weekends, okay? So make sure that the question is very specific. If you want to uh, just uh, to take a, a, a screenshot of it, or if you, you just want to take a picture of it, I would really appreciate it, okay? So we'll take the best questions and then I uh, will uh, do them, uh, you know, in a special video on Saturday, hopefully, okay? So question 21, it says, uh, which industrial gas uh, produced from uh, electrolysis of water is used uh, in hospitals? So which uh, industrial gas produced from electrolysis of water is used in hospitals? So this one, it's, uh, it's a no-brainer. It's actually oxygen. So you can, uh, oxygen, we use oxygen in, in what? In um, ventilators. Okay, especially now with COVID, you may, you may have heard uh, these buzzwords, ventilators and all that, because uh, it's, it's one of the uh, crucial uh, electronics or electrical equipments that, that are used uh, in the ICU. Okay, so we use them, uh, we, we use our valin ventilators too, to pump oxygen into, into uh, people's bodies. Okay, so oxygen life support. Let's quickly move to the next question. It says it asks us which one is not uh, a use of chlorine. So sterilizing water. So obviously this is a use of chlorine. Uh, is an electro electrolyte. This is not okay. So sterilizing water. We know that uh, chlorine is used for that. And by the way, chlorine is not. Um, it's it doesn't have any any benefit to uh, your dentals, so your teeth. Uh, so what actually has. Um, uh some influence to your teeth they make your teeth strong i think it's it's fluorine so that's that's why you put it in that's why it's put in uh, uh toothpaste okay so making domestic bleaches so this one yeah so i think uh, it's CO, co o2 i think chlorine dioxide or something so it's used uh, in uh, domestic bleaches and uh, manufacture of, uh, of plastics so uh, you have um I think you have PVC. So PVC, it's a, it's a very, I think it's the third most popular. Uh, it's one of the most popular uh, plastics that, that you find. And we use it in, in piping, by the way. So PVC in piping, uh, it's, a, it's a use of for, for chlorine, okay. So we'd actually go with this one. So let's quickly move to the next question. This one says the diagram shows incomplete apparatus needed for the electrolysis of water. Okay, so we have uh, these, are conducting rods which are called um, um, electrodes okay so uh, and then we will be having this solution here and then obviously you run our electric current through it and then at the anode you you'd be expecting um, uh, the attraction of uh, negative negative ions so negative ions in water you're dealing with uh, H plus if it's ionized H plus and then we're also dealing with the uh, O2 minus okay so at the anode these ones, they go and then they attract there. So they are discharged at this here because they lose their electrons there, okay? So you'd actually have oxygen gas. So at the cathode, that's where you have, the cathode is where you have, um, uh, normally you have uh, metals come there. So metals, they usually have uh, positive positive charges. So for, for hydrogen here, I think uh, it uh, serves that purpose. It's not really a, a metal, but then it's uh it's it's got the charge for that that's common in metals okay so here you'd actually get uh, oxygen the electrolysis of water is very popular so i advise you to actually uh, study it very well and then because the, the, i'm sure that they test it uh, a great deal in our uh, exams okay so let's quickly move over to question 24. question 24 says during the electroplating uh, electroplating of uh, iron nail with copper and then you're given these options here so the first option says uh, hydrogen gas is produced uh, at the at the cathode, and then the second uh, one says copper sulfate solution turns green. So the the there is no uh, color change in this experiment here. 
if you're done it then you know it will be just uh, bluish bluish as in uh, copper sulfate solution with bluish because of the of the uh, copper ions okay so the the cathode increases in mass the anode increases in mass it's either of those two okay so how do you know the which 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 one it is so you have to uh, understand where we put the the iron nail do we put the iron nail in the in the cathode or we put the iron nail in the in the in the anode okay so that, that's the critical uh, thing to note so copper you'll be having uh, copper 2 plus here so they will have to be deposited somewhere so they have to be deposited in the negative um, uh, electrode okay so the negative electrode is the cathode okay so cathode is where the where the uh, copper will be deposited so if we deposit copper at the at the cathode we're actually dealing with um, a situation of the cathode increasing okay so you'd have the the cathode increasing in mass here okay so i hope you understood it this was tricky in that they just wanted you to identify where the copper would be would be uh, deposited okay so a big part of that is to uh, deal with the uh, you know the copper ions those are the only ions that you'll be having there and then you also be having the sulfate ions uh, which are n ions okay so these ones will be cations they have to be deposited somewhere they get deposited to the cathode and then uh, the cathode increases uh, in mass okay so i'll actually try and do a video where i'll be just uh, explaining uh, some of these processes here next question say asks us which catalyst is used in the production of ammonia these are really like uh, one word uh, questions so you actually have to recall from memory so for for this one it's um it's it's iron iron catalyst in the in the production of ammonia the upper process you use iron catalyst and uh for van vanadium pentoxide this one use it um, in the in the reaction that gives um so there's this reaction here um, contact process okay so well, one of the parts in the contact process so it's a reversible reaction reversible in the sense that uh, it goes in uh, both directions you as you move forward as you move uh, backwards it's uh, it's uh, ongoing okay so this one we use it here platinum and rhodium uh, catalyst and also palladium we use them in catalytic converters so catalytic converters for uh, in cars okay so you want uh, uh, the you want to oxidize as much the, the material that will be coming from exo again, uh, the exhaust as possible okay so for example carbon monoxide uh, it's not very good okay so you'd want carbon dioxide so that oxidation uh, sometimes it has, it has to be facilitated with uh, certain catalysts uh, these catalytic converters they are they are a, a big part of uh, you know that process okay so platinum rhodium uh, catalyst they are used uh, for for that so let's see i think we can uh, stop here and then we'll continue in the next video thanks so much for watching make sure you like share and subscribe yuba out